Alrighty, hello my fellow farm simulator enthusiasts. Today I'm going to show you how to take a map, download it, get it into the Giants editor, uh, edit it a little bit, and repack it up and get it back into the game. Uh, there's two ways to bring it back into the game. You can either bring it back in for a single player mode, or you can bring it back in for multiplayer mode, which is what most people want because, well, it's multiplayer. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself the Giants Editor. And you can get the Giants Editor at the Giants Developer Network. Just you know, copy this link into your uh, Google, whatever, and, and find the Giants uh, Developer Network. And go in there. You have to register. Uh, it's easy. It's free. It's a one-time deal. Once you register, you go to Downloads, which is a section, and you'll see the Giants Editor uh, version 9.0.4. Uh, that's the latest version as of right now. <clears throat> uh, download that just click on it and it should start downloading I already have it so I'm just gonna delete that and once you get downloaded you'll have it on your downloads uh, double click on it, whatever it does and it'll download onto your PC and you'll have the Giants editor uh, the next step you want to do is you want to get a program like WinRAR uh, 7 zip works just the same uh, when works I use WinRAR uh, just basically the same thing. Just <clears throat> once you're on this site, just hit download WinRAR and hit it again, and it'll automatically start downloading uh, right here. Like I said, I have this already, so I'm just going to delete that. Uh, same scenario. Once you have it, uh, double click on it, and it'll run the WinRAR program and install it on your computer. Uh, just follow the same site that I had in the first part here. That way, yeah, that's where I got it from. It's safe. Uh, no worries about that. Just follow this this right here, this address, to get it. Uh, third thing we're going to need is a map. Whatever map you want uh, that you want to edit and get back in the game, uh, just find yourself a map. I already downloaded this map. and Just hit download, and you can download the map. Uh, Newton's Hedge, I think, is the name of this one. Uh, this is just for purposes of showing you how this is done so whatever map you have is fine and then once you get that done you're going to want to go to your download folder uh, i have mine on my uh, download shortcut so i can find it easy and that'll be right there uh, one thing i do is i create a folder to work with this is my normal map build folder but i've got this map builds folder that you can get by right clicking on your desktop and go to new go to folder create type whatever name in there you want and you should be good to go and that's what i did that's what i always do when i uh, do map builds so what i'll do is i'll go into my uh, download shortcuts i'll take this neutron newton's hedge and bring it over to my map builds and that'll be in there now when you get it in here this is where all them programs you just downloaded you're going to start using them here uh, right click on that and you'll go into your WinRAR, go to the third one down, it says Extract, extract to FS22 Newton's Hedge. Uh, click on that, and it'll extract that folder. And now the difference between these two is this is an extracted folder, which this one will play in Farming Simulator 22. You could literally take this and put it in your game folder, or mods folder, uh, but it'll only play in single player. Okay, it's to go to multiplayer, you have to have that little zipper on there, you know, so it's a zipped up uh, map. But we'll get to that here in a minute. Right now, you're going to want to double click on that and you get your maps folder here. And that's the one we're going to go into. But before I show you that, if you want to extract like an object from another map or another area, or you want to put something in that map, you're going to need to create another folder. So now you don't have to do this if you're just going to do an in, um, a map edit with just the map. Like say just the map and you want to move a building or move a tree. You don't need to do this step, but I'm going to show this to you anyway. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you take a, create another folder and name it whatever you want. Uh, we'll just name it, uh, uh, let's see how I get there. Single click to get that open. We'll name it uh, new stuff. Okay, and now you want to take this folder. And then this is like I said, this is only if you want to add outside stuff to the map. You know, if something from another map, or you want to replace the trees on this map with map trees from another map, 
or import a building this will be where all your import stuff comes from now you want to take this folder and put it right in the maps folder don't put it over here or anything in this screen right here right into this maps folder and then once that's in there then you double click on there and you'll see that folder will be somewhere in here uh doo -doo -doo -doo. did i pass it over? yeah right there new stuff now that's all like i said you only want that if you're going to import stuff from another map into this map or an other i3ds into your map uh, you won't need it for what we're doing today but i just wanted to show you how to do that so once you once you get the, your map extracted you're going to want to open that up from right here and you will see the map i3d this is right here it's this one of the little yellow giants thing the map i3d don't confuse it with map sounds it's got to be the one that's the map i3d make sure it says i3d over here uh, double click on that and if you have the giants editor already installed this screen should pop up uh, you want to use the latest version and just hit okay and it'll load it up in the giants editor so we'll give that a second to load up uh, loading time it can take longer depending on the size of the map depending on your pc uh, there's so many variables i've seen this thing creep for it would seem like the, the game crashed and it didn't it just takes a while to load sometimes so now that we're in the map that we want to edit uh, we just find something to edit real quick uh, to do to do say this is where we're at we want to just move I don't know we'll take this tree if we can click on it and we'll move it right to the middle of the road just so we can see that it's there okay now that now that we've edited the map and like I said this is anything you want to do you can spend hours upon hours in here doing stuff to the map but we're just gonna do this to sh just to show you uh, all we did was move the tree what you're gonna want to do once you're done editing and doing everything that you're gonna do to the map you want to go to this right here the save i3d file it's that little hard disk uh, fourth one over you don't want to go in here and hit save you just want to save it right here now once you click on that you'll see at the bottom of the screen it says exporting and when it's done it'll say ready once it's ready just come up here and exit out that's all you got to do now this is where it gets a little tricky there's two ways to do this and i'm going to show you both ways first way is you take all this stuff and you, you cover it all or uh select it all and there's different ways to select this, this is the way i do it and then you go into your WinRAR and hit compress the map in email that, what that does is it just gives you a regular folder again something that you can play in single player what you're going to want to do is if you want to play in multiplayer is go to add to archive and you click on that and oh i'm sorry well i take that back that was a mistake uh we'll just exit out of that and do this again what you're going to want to do this is you have to do this regardless as far as i know is go in here and compress an email every error no boy i'm really screwing this up select it all go into your winrar and hit the third one down this is compress and that'll do this it'll compress everything so the edit that you just did that'll be good it'll it'll show up then you hit your backspace and you'll be in this screen where you started from once you open the folder select that stuff and then you can hit add to archive that way it'll add the name to the map uh, hit zip hit ok and that'll create a, a new brand new folder the neutron hedge or newton's hedge sorry and that's your edited map right there that you can play in a multiplayer okay that's right there now if you want to keep it the other way where you didn't where you don't have to put it in multiplayer and you don't have to keep extracting it every time uh, the reason I do it that way is when I first did this I extracted this out of this map and that just that's a regular folder that's a zip folder this regular folder is playable in farm sim the game but it's not multiplayer and the reason i'll keep it just playable is so when i go back to, if there's something i forgot to do or something i want to change i can just go back into the map 
without having to extract it. If I zip it up, I have to extract it again because you can't use this in the editor. See, as you're trying to open this up, it'll crash the editor. Watch. I'll let it show you. And see, the editor just crashed. It, it won't let you access the editor through the zip folder. You have to go into this folder and do it that way. So this way, when I double click on this, it'll it'll open the editor back up. That's the dif the difference between these two folders. This one is multiplayer. This one is single player. But I do it in single player, so I can, uh, if like I said, if anything happens where I want to go back into the editor, I can just click on that and it'll open the editor back up. And you'll be able to use it this time. It won't crash on you. So, yeah. Where was that place at? Uh, we moved the tree, didn't we? Yeah, right there on the road. See, the tree is still there. So that's why I, I do it that way. God, I hope you were able to follow all that. I, I think I, I didn't mess it up too bad. So now that uh, we're here, we don't want to change anything because we already changed it. I just wanted to show you this. But if you don't change anything and you just want to exit back out without changing anything, you just hit this up here and it exit up, but it's going to ask you, save changes. Just hit no, because you didn't change nothing. Or hit yes, because you didn't change nothing. So I'll just hit no, and it'll automatically send me back here. So, yeah. But now that we got everything done, and I hope you follow this, I hope I didn't really screw this up too bad. If it did, just leave a comment and I'll explain to you, or I'll make another video if you want to suffer through that. Um, like I said, this one is for single player use, which you can put in there, play the game, play it forever. It's your heart's content. Uh, and this one that we saved over here that I took out of there, this is also an edited copy. This will have the tree in the road. These two, this one won't. This is the original. Okay. And the reason I didn't extract this to here is because I didn't want two copies bumping heads in here. So I just took it out and put it over there. Um, what I will and, and that's basically it uh, you can take this and put it in your game which I have uh, right here on my desktop because I use a game or a mod switcher so I leave mine on my folder or on my desktop but most people it's in their uh, documents which is right here and you'll just go to your games where my games is at yeah, my games and then you go to farming simulator 22 and then you'll have your mods and it'll be in there okay then you just take that folder and put it in there and boom there it is now it'll show up in your game so that's it that's easy peasy and i hope i didn't uh, really kill it when i tried to explain it so yeah, that's that's the that's the gist of it. And man, like I said, I I hope you followed along. I know I screwed up in a couple spots, uh, but I think I explained it enough. And if uh, if you get anything out of this, awesome. That way you know how to do it from now on. Um, if like I said, if you're confused and if I confuse you, I can understand that because I did mess up a couple times. But I hope I explained it good enough. If you're confused, whatever, just leave a comment and I will explain it to you or I will just make another video. I, you know, it makes no difference to me. Uh, if you learned anything new, uh, throw me a like. Subscribe. doesn't cost you nothing. It helps out the channel a ton. Um, yeah, hopefully, like I said, hopefully I didn't confuse you. And hopefully now you can get a map in and edit it and put it back in the game. And yeah, get, get the plan again. Uh, like I said, sorry if I confused you in any way. Uh, hopefully you got some help here and thank you very much for checking it out and y'all have a great day.